Hi everyone, it's Steve Moody, or Coach Steve here, and this is episode one of my vlog, where I'm going to document my journey to hopefully the World Champion Ironman World Championships via qualification in Ironman Texas in April 2025. Um, so, Coach Steve versus Steve Moody, just be very clear. If you've come here looking for coaching content, there's loads of that stuff in the rest of the channel. This is going to be more personal and more focusing on the entertainment side rather than the education side and um, i'll talk a little bit about that in a moment um but again it's all going to focus on a warts and all um athletes struggle to achieve a big scary goal that is qualification for the world championships at ironman distance so um as i said training content that way more amusing content this way um so why am I doing this on top of my other YouTube um, commitments? Um, kind of three reasons. One, um, I've, of late, I've kind of lost my mojo and my weight as an athlete um, just due to a lot of work pressures and um, other commitments, personal stuff and all that. So I'm using this as a form of accountability and keeping my, uh, helping me regain my mojo. Um, what better to have to admit to the internet that you skipped your long bike because you're feeling a little bit tired. It's not going to happen. So this is going to help me get to my goal. So thank you, internet. Um, number two is uh, my one of my very clever marketing friends saw has been watching my uh, videos and gives me feedback and goes, look, you know what? You've got to lean into your personality. We know you're outgoing. You're fairly politically incorrect. You're, uh, but you're very polished or very uh, almost... Um, corporate in some of your videos and said okay now that's a fair point so so i'm going to use this as an experiment i'm going to lean in and i'm going to open up and show more Stephen moody um it'll be very interesting to see if i lo lose a lot of subscribers or get a lot of dislike for it but hey let's just try it out and um, the third reason why i'm doing it is again another very clever marketing fan said look you know your whole coaching business is about selling health exercise movement etc but Every single video, you're sort of sitting in front of a camera, you're standing in front of a camera, we're not seeing movement. We need to see more movement. And I went, you know what? That's a really clever point. And what I'm going to do in the videos, and again, hat tip to Gomer, who showed me how what cool some GoPro footage can be. I'm going to give you a bit more insight into how I train, run stuff I do, bike stuff, swim stuff, and like a day in the life of a, a wannabe uh, Ironman World Championship qualifier. So if you're still with me, absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much. So let's get into the guts of week one. And uh, let's a little bit of learning, but mainly, mainly let's a bit of laughter. Okay, so how to do my vlog. Um, now, I do need some sort of structure around it, because uh, if I don't have structure, this is what my goes on in my head most of the time. But in fairness to my previous employers, uh, I did pick up certain things from them and how to structure things. And you always need a model. And I said, okay, so we need a model. Um, and and again, apologies. Every now and again, I will go back to bullshit bingo and I will use corporate speak, but it's sometimes it's useful. So I've created uh, this model to help me structure my blog. And it just, for me, this is based on what I know I need to achieve and also what my athletes achieve. Um, you need to have a big goal. You need to have kind of focus on the other pillars of motivation, nutrition, training, and recovery. And when you get that right, as in tend to achieve the goal, and those will break into kind of subtopics. Like, for example, under training, there's, you know, What's the structure of your week? What equipment do you use? Nutrition is weight management. There's race day nutrition, et cetera, et cetera. So what a clever guy. Um, and let's, and, what, and again, and it will also give me kind of bite-sized chunks to break down in the vlogs. First off, we're going to have a look at the goal. Now, I have mentioned that the goal is to qualify for the Ironman, big long-distance triathlon, uh, world championships via Texas. Now, what I mean by qualify is you have to finish in a certain position in your age group because there's only a certain amount of slots per race that will allow you qualify to go to either Nice or Kona. This year it's Nice, so and that's that's the target. Um, 
there is a certain thing that's got roll down, which I'll go into another video on the rest. So that's fine. So that's the goal. And I'm gonna slowly slide into um corporate speak here. One of the models that I did pick up and I do use um from my days of being a tosser management consultant um is the smart model. Again, we all know this, but I'm going to go to people who tell them. I'm going to stick this up on the screen. So SMART is an acronym that sounds for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. And it's just the way it's structured your goals. By the way, realistic and achievable, the same thing, guys. You just have to break it into SMART. No one admits that. But anyhow, so that's how I'm going to structure the goal. And to break that down into a little bit, so for me, Specific qualification for the World Championships of Fire Army in Texas can't be more, uh, more specific than that. Measurable, I either make it or I don't, but also in terms of times and finishing positions, I need to be in either probably around under 10 hours for Iron Man Texas, depending on weather, but I definitely need to be in the top 15 of my age group, which is 50 to 54. I know you wouldn't think about it to look at me so young. Um, is it achievable? Yes, it is. Um, I'm I did qualify there two years ago, but then I ended up breaking my ribs and not being able to go. But I've fallen out of shape, so that's a bit of a I, I need to get back to where they are. And I'll talk about the scores on the doors in the next section. Is it realistic? Yes. Um, if I get my my shit together, um, definitely timely. Absolutely. This is completely time bound. It's on the 25th of April, 2025. I'm either ready or I'm not. So that is 10 months away. So there we are. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Corporate World. That's the model. Now, just talk about where I am. So this is going to be a regular section in the vlog as well, or scores on the doors, because... For myself and when coaching athletes, there's metrics or figures I know which will tell what sort of shape I'm in and what shape an athlete's in. Um, and that will be a real indicator whether I'm in a narcissist roar of actually achieving the goal of going under 10 hours in Ironman, Texas. For, and again, I'll simplify it as well because you don't really need to overcomplicate these things um, because they're just kind of, kind of data points you can judge. In Training Peaks, the application I use, there's a thing called um, CTL, which essentially is your fitness. The bigger the number, the bigger the um, how fitter uh, the fitter you are. Um, there's lots of figures behind it. And essentially, it's a combination of how many training sessions you've done, how long, what intense, intensity, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada. Um, I'm also going to talk a little bit about <clears throat> my weight, which this is not a weight loss uh, journal. This And I do not advocate people desperately trying to lose weight to help a triathlon. But I know for myself, when I'm a certain race weight, I will race better. And I know at the moment, I'm way off that race weight. Let's just say I'm more of a well-rounded athlete at the moment. So these are the things I'm going to judge. And I'm going to, and for comparison, I'll show where I was when I did my last personal best at an Ironman distance, which was uh, in 2019 in Ironman Barcelona, where I went, 940 and I was in the shape of my life so for reference here's the numbers on screen now fitness number of 149 I was under 65 kg um which is very light um and I ended up what you call it 35th in my age group which is quite good but it's miles off where I should have been and then another Another comparison is last time I had qualified for the World Champs in Texas in 2023, um, I was fitness of 118. Again, here's the number on the door. And also I was just under 70 kg. So a little heavier, a little less fit, but I was in a different age group. And I was so competitive because I was 22nd and I got a roll down slot. Cool. <laughs> so where are you now, Stephen? Okay. So at the moment, I am at around less than 40 in terms of my CTL. So my third is fit as I was. If you take it, at kind of uh, was an apple for apples. And I'm tipping the scales at 
this morning, just over 77 kg. So I'm I'm way off it. And therefore, I need to get to those numbers. And as what we'll do is I'll show you what I change during the journey to increase the fitness number, reduce the, the weight number, and again, how that will improve in terms of my training. So they are. I'm unfit and I'm a little tubby, but we're going to work on that. And thanks for following. Okay, so a wrap up because every good video requires a wrap up. The vlog is all going to be about my journey to Ironman Texas and hopefully succeeded to succeed in getting to Ironman World Championships. Um, it's going to be more me than it's going to be coaching, but there will be some sort of nuggets of info. Um, as you can see, a big long journey of training ahead of myself. I'm kind of keen that this will keep me accountable. I'm keen to have a bit of crack with it. <laughs> I promise to be more crack in future videos and also there'll be more outdoorsy stuff um, because I do need to make this I, I want to have a bit of fun with this and uh, hopefully you guys have a bit of fun the way I do give you a 100% guarantee no matter how much I record me training you will never see me in speedos no one wants to see that um, big journey ahead I'll be honest about it. I'll be honest about the challenges. I'll be honest with my own performances because uh, I think that will as I said, give me the kick up the arse to get going. Um, and it should be hopefully informative, hopefully interesting. Um, if it is, just give a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All of my friends or new friends I haven't met yet, feel free to abuse me in the comments. I think we can have a bit of banter with this. Right, so... Next week, we or next next vlog. I'm not committing to a time frame on this. Might be monthly, might be fortnightly, to be determined. And um, I'll dip in a bit more either in the motivation side of things or the training side of the house. And again, I'll share experience today. Otherwise, listen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.